say pop my shit like I play for the grid. She know I suck on this dick like I'm bone. Cause a nigga so busy. Just know I'm getting to it. How I ran it up, ain't none of your business. You can say they boss, but say don't make no boss decisions. Park, park the Bama. Park the Oscar, park the Benz. Plus, I got some shit I never drive. I don't know which car I'm in. Took my show out to the West and I struck gold. I struck gold. I'm a feeling with a load in the park. Dollar niggas seen the field bone. Just know I keep that found me and plus my heart cold. You go to the hood like I'm rapping, built the road. Yeah, I'm on that fuck you time. You push me to that mode. Yeah, I'm on that fuck you time. And shit never get old. Walk around on Arnold time. Fuck pockets on swole. Bitch, you better not move a muscle. I'm ready to blow. Bitch, you better strike like lightning when I say let's go. Really got a mind she call me Dr. X. first album, Doggy Style. What's going on? What's going on? I am your host, Big True Ed, and this is the Late Bloomer Podcast. Going right in with it, man. I'm talking about your, your, your NBA champions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last year NBA champions for the most part. Uh, Golden State Warriors, uh, defensive player of the year, three-time NBA champion, multiple all-star, man, future Hall of Famer, Draymond Green. How do we feel about Draymond Green? Draymond Green and Jordan Poole. It's which his teammate is. His teammate is a budding star. Uh, been on the team for. I want to say no more than three, four years. But uh, he that guy. He got work, got talent, and uh, he letting that bitch go. You know what I'm saying? So he's the offensive player on the team, the up-and-coming offensive star. Draymond Grant is the, the current and long-stead superstar. Okay. I, basically, I heard about this a couple of days ago. Draymond Green and... Uh, Jordan Poole got into a little incident. And, you know, hearing about it and seeing it is two different things. So I heard about it. I heard Draymond got to fight with his teammate. I wonder what happened. You know what I'm saying? And seeing it, okay. Me putting it in perspective. How I see it is, um, I, I've seen a couple, a, a lot of different outlet, outlets, basically. You know what I'm saying? I don't try to be first like I stated before. I like to see what's going on, get other people intake and see how they going with the story, how they view it, and basically everybody, everybody vilified Draymond at this point. Oh, it's the worst thing that I've seen, and he wrong, and his image, and he, he expendable now, and I made his, and I messed the bag up, and you know, everything around, everything you can think of as far as from a teammate standpoint, a person standpoint, I'm hearing about Draymond Green. My personal take on it is, um, went through an incident like this in college, you know what I'm saying? Uh, this guy named Alex, uh, just just to piggyback, a guy named Alex uh, from Ohio. I don't really know what we was getting into it about, but we had little incidents for us that was leading from the court into off the court. So this one particular day, we was chilling in my house. I'm shaking again, let me stop this shit. This one particular day, we was chilling in my house, and we joking, and I don't know how what happened, but the shit got out of hand, and bro wanted to feel some type of way about me. You know what I mean? He wanted to do me something, basically. So I remember some teammates stepping in front of us, like putting it on, and but he's still able to, you know what I'm saying? He, he saying what he's saying. I'm like, shit, bro, just don't touch me. You know what I'm saying? Those are my words. I ain't have all the, the back and forth energy no more. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, bro, just don't touch me. And I distinctly remember, like, shit, I didn't want to fight this nigga. Yeah, I might have talked upon it, but I ain't want to fight, bro. But if I had to, then it was what it was. And him being older than me, he could have drove the situation to a, you know what I'm saying, however he wanted to. But he also had to think about shit, if I fight him, he 18, I'm 23, 24, we in junior college, this might be my last chance. Shit, do I really want to do it like this? So it was one of those things where cooler heads prevail. 
So going back to the Draymond Green incident, look like Dr uh, Pool said something, bro. Bro, thought about it, and bro was like, "Fuck this shit, I'm finna go and go say something to him." And that could be one of them incidents where they already got stuff going on, though. You know what I'm saying? Who knows what's being said and what's going on in the locker room? So let's say Pool wet at the mouth, okay? Pool wet at the mouth. I finally say, "Fuck it, I'm finna go say something to Pool." I go say something to Pooh, and Pooh, I'm all in Pooh face. Pooh, wrong for letting a nigga get all up in his circumference, you know what I'm saying? They, they tell you coming up the arm length is your, it's your safe space, but even that's too close. So, I wouldn't let Draymond get up on me. First of all, I would have been took a step back. Hold on, bro. This ain't what we doing. So, once I seen him coming towards me, just like I did once I seen Alex coming towards me. I didn't really want to fight, bro. I had to make a business decision. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know if he was going to hit me. I didn't know what he was going to do. Luckily, my teammates got in between us. Folks. He got right up on me. You never know. You know what I'm saying? But he said we had to say. I said we had what I had to say. And I'm just don't touch me. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I ain't had the same energy I had before. Because I didn't want to fight the nigga. So I would have been forced to fight, just being real. But if it would have went there, I ain't even mush me, push me, he ain't do none of that old shit, though. It's just shit. I ain't want to fight. So, in pool incident, Draymond walked up to him, got him in his face. I feel like pool should have, like I said, took this step back. But when you push him, from all my years of growing up, man, ain't pushing to lead the fight or pushing. We, we, we play the pushing game, the shoulder. See who's scared. You push me, I push you. So she pushing lead to punches. So I feel like Pooh should have done a better job, a way better job of protecting itself. You know what I'm saying? Just being aware of the situation, the surrounding, what's going on. And going back to Draymond, I feel like Draymond should have done it, though. Being an OG, being a uh, uh, older guy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you the tone setter, you the enforcer, you understand your role, but I feel like you want to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's other ways you can handle it. There's other ways you can handle it, and it, you shouldn't have. Shit, you gave him one. You could have snatched him up. You could have, man, nigga, come around. You know what I'm saying, bro? Look, you could have did it like that. You could have. There's other ways you could have handled that situation in, in the way you did it. But do I think it's the worst? No. Do I think uh, the cameraman should be fired or the camera staff should be fired? Yes. But I know Golden State don't handle business like that. And whoever leaked it out was being messy as hell. And they did it for the quick buck. So I feel like they ass need to be up out of there. They, they could have. You know what I'm saying? Could have prevented this story from even coming out and people like me and other media outlets talking about it. Could have been an in-house situation. And could have saved Jordan Poole some embarrassment and saved Draymond some, uh, some uh, from being vilified even more. But, like I said, man, I don't think it was the worst thing ever. I don't agree with teammates fighting, but you know, sometimes, Sometimes it happens. You know, people get paid to fight. You got UFC, you got boxing, you got you got training, you got they get you get paid to train, you got jiu jitsu, you get paid to fight, you get paid to play football, basketball, all these physical sports. So it comes a time where, man, you gonna butt heads. But do you like do is it do you like button heads or is it cool button heads with teammates? No. Cause Truth be told, if Alex would have put his motherfucking hands on me back in 2005, then we couldn't have stayed at the same college. You know what I'm saying? Like, just being real. So, I understand this situation, too. But, when you making these millions and you in a position that these men in, I feel like you got to keep a cooler head. So, if Draymond is this stand-up guy like I think he is, man, you know what I'm saying? I know the world done vilified you, man, and you got some of these soft-ass media outlets that's, you know what I'm saying? Cause it, it look bad, though. It look bad. I must say, it look bad. Look, you push pool, 
and you just teed off on them. You gone with your move. But at the same time, I respect the shit. I know Pooh could have put his hands on you too, though. He should have knew better. But to the world, they just see you bigger, you a fool, he a god, and you gone with your move. So, man, just be that stand-up guy. And, man, go holler at Pooh, man to man, and let them know where you was wrong. Get, get your shit off your chest and let them know how what led up to it. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, accept some responsibility for it, Trey Moore. That's all I can say, bro. Accept some responsibility for it. I'm pretty sure you ain't gonna talk about this shit on your podcast. You know what I'm saying? You gonna talk about everything else. You ain't gonna go on there and talk about this. This a little bit. This a little extra. Yeah. Let everybody else talk about this, Jack. You know what I'm saying? Don't be afraid to like, share, subscribe, comment, critique. This is episode eight of the Late Bloomers podcast. And I just want to say this also before I leave out here. Tip, tip of the day. If you a person that move and be on the move like me, you know what I'm saying, rip and run all day. Um, I, I was thinking, I was actually, I feel at my best when I wake up in the morning and and give me some good nutrients in my body. You know what I'm saying? At first, I wasn't big on breakfast. I haven't been being big on breakfast since I was a little boy. My grandma used to make it fuck me. You know what I'm saying? That shit was every day. But as I done got old and just got to move and groove and going through life, breakfast had, it had became one of my least favorite meals. Not because of the food, just because shit don't move. I ain't got time to eat. But as I done got older and I be ripping and running, I realized, man, that first meal of the day is so important because just think, if you ripping and running, you ain't got nothing in your system to start your day off. And say, it done been days to where I, it be six, seven o'clock. I ain't ate shit. So just imagine the wear and tear they put on the body. And then when you are eating, you are snacking on bullshit. So I advise everybody, man, to wake up and start your day out with a proper meal. Some good nutrients, something that's going to take you through the day if you are a busy person. God bless you. Have a good day. Appreciate you. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment. Uh, I'm still doing a trip giveaway once I reach 1K subscribers. Um, support the movement. Wizard Cleaning Services, LLC. I also uh, have another profit I have going on. I'll give you an update on this soon. And I will be doing some coaching, some basketball coaching from ages 6 to 15. Inbox me, get with me if you want uh, information on it, man. Be true to it.